Hey, welcome back to Historic Investments. Today, we're going to talk about the Rugers. No, not Lugers, Rugers. And believe me, there were a host of different Rugers to consider. So, we've got an example of one of the standard models, in this case, a Red Eagle on, a, on two or three, three different uh, single actions. And I'm pleased to be here at the Ohio Gun Collectors Association speaking to one of the directors who's a diehard Ruger collector. This is Rod Kirian. So, let me just turn this over right now to Rod Kirian. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Uh, yeah, I'm into Brugers. Uh, many of you might know me if you've seen me. They call me Radical Rod. I just want to get that out there because more people know me by that than they do. Okay, Rod so if they want to contact you after this, it's Radical Rod. Okay, <laughs> okay. go ahead. Now. So uh, I brought three, or excuse me, one auto and three single actions. Uh, the Red Eagle Auto was the first gun Bill Ruger designed. As came out in 1949. Uh, this is the single six. It was made in 53. This is the 357. It was brought out in 55. And this is the 44. It was brought out in 56. Uh, this is a Ruger standard automatic pistol, 22 caliber, one of the early ones that Ruger made in 1949. Uh, typically called the Red Eagle because of the emblem in the grip. Uh, this one is serial number 0059. Ruger produced these up to 600-0660, then they jumped to 2000. There's no guns in between there because they were a small company and they really would like Colt to think they were making more guns than they were. Just to be Bill Ruger. <laughs> Anyhow, they also, the early guns, have the two-tone magazine. All the early guns up to 660 had this white-tipped magazine. As you know, Ruger didn't make any guns between 660 and 2000, so they can also be found in guns serial number 2000 up to 3500. Uh, there will be some blue ones in there mixed in as they were phased out. This one here, is the Ruger single six. These came out in 1953, Ruger's introduction into back into the single actions. They're all 22s. They're all five and a half inch barrels. Uh, beautiful guns. This one here is serial number 59. They had the flat loading gate, which was later changed to the round gate because it's really hard to get your thumbnail in there and get that gate open. So that was a big complaint that was changed fairly quickly. They made these, uh, about 64,000 of these before they changed the loading gates. This is Ruger's uh, single action 357, affectionately known as the flat top because of the flat top. Uh, this is also number 59, but they came out in 1955. Uh, Many of these early guns had a very purple color because uh, Bill Ruger was a big advocate of uh, uh, investment casting. So they didn't get the mix right. It had too much silicone or something in it. I can't remember. I, the, I don't even know if they actually know what was the problem, but they did figure it out eventually so they didn't turn purple. Because many of people think it's been reblued because of the color. This gun has not been reblued. Even if it had been reblued, it will turn purple again. So it's something in the steel. I'm going to say, I'm trying to think how many they made. <laughs> they made 42,000 flat tops in the 357. This is number 59, 44 flat top. They came out in 56. Uh, as you can tell, they had the bluing figured out so these don't turn purple. This one wears a very rare pair of factory ivories. They also made stags. They were available very cheap. These were ten fifty for the ivories and eight fifty for the stags, which seems very reasonable by today's standards. Uh, this gun, the 44, they made 29,000 of them. Uh, the thing about collecting Rugers is they really didn't make all that many compared to like Colt and Smith and Wesson, so they actually are hard to find. 
I'm, I'm sure I can't hardly, f you, today at the show, we won't be able to find five of these. That would be a lot. So, anyway, and if you're interested in them, there's two good books. This one's by John Dugan. It cover, this one covers all of them. And this one's by Chad Hiddleston. It does, this is the encyclopedia of the 22s. It is awesome. So both these guys make good books and good Ruger chasing. Hey, hey thanks again for tuning us in. I'm glad, uh, hopefully you liked this um, uh, video that uh, focused in on a number of different Rugers, all serial number 59. If you guys are interested, remember we're welcome to have your comments and we'd be happy to focus more either on the standard Ruger or on any of the uh, single actions, just let us know. Rod? Yep. Anything you want, Len, I would be happy to do for you. And remember, if you're asking any questions, Rod Kearing is the one who's going to be answering them, not me. Guys, good luck, good collecting.